Hi, in this video I will show you how you can uh, publish an interactive map JS application on the uh, content management system in Implode. So first go, for example, imagine you have a map like this on, uh, on the A servers or in Disco map or in um, on the S3 ArcGIS online. So this is a map, you want to have this inside the agency website. For example, you wanted to show it inside here in the catalog of the maps. Basically, go to the interactive maps first and um, click on all items here. And under here you will add new and it's called GIS map application. So click on this one. This will create an empty template with all the metadata needed to create this map. So now I will first enter the title. The title in this case is Urban Atlas for Europe. Use the same title as you have there. Make sure it's compliant to the agency style guide. Um, for example, we do know that we don't capitalize um, every word in at the agency on the agency style guide. Description, it's a little extract ex what it is, and you could take, for example, this little initial text at the description. Um, here you have two options to either enter the flash flex JS application URL or the ArcGIS online um, URL, Ionet URL. In this case is the ArcGIS URL. It's this one, yeah, basic viewer. So we enter this one here. Then you have the option to add the thumbnail. It's called preview image. So we need to create a preview of this map. And it's basically with a little add-on on Chrome. You have a, this little add-on to take a screen capture of the map. I will do select area. I will just um, take this area here as my, I will capture this one. Done. I will save this on my desktop. Yuba address for Europe, okay. I go back, I will choose the file on the desktop, here it is. So then we have categorization, I will add some tags, here we are, urban, the system will suggest you, urban atlas, you see we already have it there, and I will call also land, land, if you don't know what to add, you can go back to your application here, and you can see what kind of tags have been used. For example, GMAS you have. And uh, so we can put GMAS as well. GMAS, yeah, it's there. We have the data set itself. We also have some tags, geospatial data. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary. So this will be, will be fine. Uh, related items here we will relate it to the data set in use that is used by this map it's mandatory so data we will search for urban atlas here it is we click on this little arrow and we add this relation then it asks for geotags location so this is the geo coverage of the map in this case it's EO27 if you don't know go back to your data and check what countries are included so here we have um, count i can just directly take the country groups and pick up eu27 here this will automatically add all the countries in one go save geotags now the system will ask you also uh, the management plan in this case i have looked it up and i think i will use depends on your case but i will use the copernicus dissemination and archiving 36.3 It's an example, you can use also your own project. Um, the temporal coverage, I'm not sure really, I will go back to the data set to look at the temporal coverage, 2005-2007, so it's probably the same. 2005-2007. 2005-2007. 2005, 
2007. In case the map is dynamic, let's say that the the the, date, the, the time change uh, and will increase over time, so you can click the dynamic temporal coverage here. It means it's dynamic. Uh, so you are not forced to just add specific country. You can say that it's a dynamic value. The thematic here I would I would put uh, in this case land use and urban. I think urban, urban, urban environment. Okay. Um, the first one is the most important. I'm not sure it's about land use. I will have to check with the project manager. I'll go back to the data set and see what has been used here. Urban environment land use. So I could use the same. At this point, we are we are kind of done. We don't have to add this other information here. This is uh, not mandatory. So we just need to save the map. Save. Click on save. The system will create the interactive map in a draft stage. They will send an email also, so we'll be notified, and the GIS application team is notified which include the people in the MDI, Jan, uh, Sebastian, are notified. Uh, now, this map, as you see, it's embedded here on the site. You can, you have several steps. You could do proofreading, content review. Uh, it all depends how important this map is. Uh, but the next logical step would be to make it as um, submit for content review. In this case, you would send a link to the project manager at the agent, the thematic project manager, and ask for a, for a review, a quick review, if everything is fine. The system sometimes, um, yeah, it's the content review. So at this stage, you will have to send this link via an email to the project manager, and you will get back some feedback. But if everything has been approved and it's fine, you can just publish it. So here is the publish button. If you don't have the publish button, you will have to submit for work QA. It means you are a new new uh, staff at the agent, and therefore you will have to first uh, submit for work QA. But if you go to, if you've been here a long time, you will have a publishing rights. So I will publish it now. <coughs> 